2013 was the first full quarter for Billerud Korsnäs after the combination with Korsnäs. Per Lindberg, CEO of Billerud Korsnäs. What are the key takeaways from the Q1 report? Well, the key takeaway is certainly that integration is proceeding better than planned. Uh, people are motivated and uh, we have uh, a strong team uh, committed to uh, implementing uh, both the integration and the new organization and generating savings. And the savings target has been increased from uh, 330 to 530. The adjusted operating profit for the quarter was uh, 432 million Swedish kronor. What's your thought on that? I think uh, it's a reasonably good uh, result given the uh, market conditions. We ha have a relatively slow Europe. We also have uh, some headwind when it comes to currencies. So I'm, I'm pleased with the result. Uh, we do have uh, a, an increase uh, for sure um, comparing to quarter four with the 224 million. And uh, given that, I, I am pleased with that result. How was the market situation for the packaging material segments in Q1? It is somewhat slow, again uh, due to the uh, European demand, but we expect that to improve seasonally in quarter four, or in quarter two, sorry. Uh, it's stable, and I expect that to, uh, to uh, be stable and somewhat increasing uh, moving forward. We have also uh, increased uh, prices on some, some of our segments, and we expect that to go through in the mid part of uh, quarter two and also have fu full effect in quarter three. And uh, what's the outlook going forward, except uh, the ones you just mentioned? Well, uh, certainly stability, I think you will see uh, throughout. We don't speculate in any improvement of the business cycle. Uh, we expect stability in, in demand uh, for, the, for uh, the rest of the year. And uh, we also s expect to see uh, wood prices come down. We also expect to generate the synergies, uh, of course, increasing uh, accumulative uh, results from, from synergy uh, realization. And we also see, uh, expect to see the prices, pricing uh, increases to go through in, in quarter two.